Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Structures. Today I will explain you the difference in the behavior of structure under gravity loading and lateral loading. Let me first explain you gravity loading. It includes the dead load and live load. And what is dead load? It is the permanent weight of the members of the structure and they are slabs, beams, columns, walls, stairs. And the lateral load includes the horizontal loads acts due to the wind loads and earthquake loads. So as per this, uh, our first difference, the name suggests itself, the direction of the load. The direction of the load for the gravity loading is vertical and the direction of the load for the lateral load is horizontal. The second difference is the gravity loads is directly imposed on the structure and the lateral loads are reversible in nature and they are cyclic. Now we know that uh, you can see that the gravity load uh, which is just a weight of the structural members uh, which uh, summation act on the soil and the lateral load it means let's say if we are assuming earthquake load uh, which is reversible in nature we know that the earthquake uh, is varies with the time and the nature of this uh, seismic waves of the earthquake which are cyclic in nature which are having back and forth motion so we can say that the lateral loads are reversible in nature and they are cyclic the third difference is deterministic uh, gravity load and the lateral loads are non-deterministic and that they, they are not easy to estimate it. it means if we consider gravity loads the gravity loads are just dead loads and live loads which are uh, easily calculated by the uh, calculate the weight of the each and every members uh, self weight of each and every member when we when you include also live load and finally you can get the load total gravity load of the structure so i can say that it is a deterministic load and with lateral loads which are let's say earthquake and wind load which are which depends on many factors let's say earthquake depends on the zone of the area uh, it depends on the focal depth where it uh, initiate the earthquake and wind load depends on the velocity of the wind it depends on the area of uh, and its type of structure it also depends so to determine uh, earthquake load and uh, to determine wind load we have to calculate we have to understand many other parameters we have to understand many other factors so i can say that it is not easily estimated then uh, next difference is the gravity loads do not produce fatigue in the structure and the lateral loads produce fatigue stress in the structure first let me, let me explain you what is fatigue stress it means the stress produced due to cyclic load uh, means if uh, a load applies continuously on a structure and what type of stress produced due to this load that is called as fatigue stress the next difference is the drift and deformations are small under gravity loading and uh, in lateral loading drift and deformations are large as we know that our structure shows inelastic behavior under the seismic load as you can see in the figure okay the drift and deformation it means the horizontal displacement of particular structure uh, by uh, floor by floor okay so it is very small under gravity loading and when uh, you can see in the horizontal loading the horizontal deformation of the structure is really large in terms the next difference is uh, when your structure member or we can say a flexure member is under gravity loading the bending moment at central position is hogging and we consider as negative and uh, the ends will shows the sagging behavior okay you can see this in the figure and when uh, under lateral loading the flexure member 
alternatively shows sagging and hogging movement so this diagram shows you the basic difference in the diagrams of a shear force and bending moment under gravity loading and lateral loading the next difference is the shear force is smaller in comparison of seismic load under gravity loading and on the contrary the shear force is larger than the gravity loading under lateral load so when your uh, structure is uh, suffering under lateral loading the shear force generated uh, under the structure which is very large and you can uh, call it it is a base shear now under gravity loading the column subjected to axial forces and less bending moments than the seismic loading now when your column is under lateral load it it suffers under more shear force and building behave as a cantilever it behave as a vertical cantilever so the tensile for force uh, generate at the side of the seismic force when it acts in the opposite side uh, it generates a compression in the column so you can see here in the figure in the diagram okay uh, so in x direction uh, from x direction my lateral force is acting on the building so on the tension side uh, the, uh, sorry uh, the tension is generated at the side where your shear seismic force is there and on the opposite side it generates the compression force